Freestyle Chasing Cruising And Cinematic You can do it all with one single drone And that's what we're gonna talk about today Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Andres Arujo and welcome to a brand new FPV drone review. Today we have this little guy, the Gepper C Cinelog 35 HD Performance. That's a pretty long name, I know, but you will understand why the performance word is so important in the name. If you have seen my previous videos, you know I'm a filmmaker and all my reviews are based on what I understand about FPV drones from a perspective of someone who uses these drones to create cinematic videos for commercials, concerts or social media content for brands. So this is not a technical review, this is just my opinion about a tool that can help me to improve the videos that I create for my work. So what is so special about this new quad that Gepard released some weeks ago? Well, they had the previous version, the Cinelog 35, just like that. And at least in my country, every single pilot wanted to have this drone. It was so popular, it's still very popular, because even though it's a scene whoop, that means it has prop guards, it is very capable, very powerful, and according to Gepper C, it can carry a full GoPro Hero 10 and get a decent flight time with the GoPro on it. But now, with the new Cinelog 35 performance, they said, okay, let's make our best Cine Whoop to date even better. And they came out with a more powerful drone, with newer and better motors, better flight controller, higher lifting capacity and flight time, because this drone now is a 6S drone, which means you can use a 6S battery and get more power out of it. That's why they added the word performance to the name, because it's much more efficient and the flight performance is just amazing. Short unboxing here, this is not the real unboxing. I already opened it and flew the drone a couple of times, but this is how it comes in the box. You've got the drone, cables, accessories, screws, and they give you a 3D printed mount for a GoPro Hero 10. That's something not many companies include in the box. Unfortunately, I don't have a full GoPro Hero 10, but I have a GoPro Hero 10 Bones which is the official naked version of the Hero 10. And to be honest, I think it's a much better option because of the reduced weight that will give you some extra minutes in the air. For my test, I will be using some 1300 6S batteries. These batteries are recommended by Gepard C according to their website and I got a decent flight time with them. I did some car chasing with this quad and it actually performed very, very well. It has enough power to get the same speed as the car. I was able to do some maneuvers around them, recover fast, and also, I was able to fly safe around the people who were there, so that's a perfect match for me. You will see a short video that I already edited, flying the Cinelog 35 performance in different scenarios, and we will talk about it just after that. Okay, so first impressions, it's just the best cine whoop I've ever flown in my life. The flying experience is so smooth, so responsive, and it's impressive how a cine whoop with a GoPro on it can perform acrobatic movements and achieve such a high speed. It almost felt like a 5 inch drone, it has a lot of punch on the throttle, and it can do the most important movement for me, which is the split S, that's the movement you're watching right now. This maneuver is my favorite and also one of the most used FPV cinematic movements for video, and it's not that common for a scene whoop to achieve it. So having this power in such a small drone makes it the best drone in this category for me. 6S batteries do make a difference. For example, I reviewed previously the iFly Protect 35 and it was good in that moment, but it's a 4S drone, so it means that it has less power. It's not that responsive. And also something that's worse compared to the Cinelog 35 performance is that the Protect 35 is so heavy and noisy. 
Whereas this new guy makes some more pleasant noise. I don't know how to explain it, but the difference is huge. And also the lighter the drone, the better flight overall performance. So that's something to have always in mind. I had up to six minutes of flight time with the GoPro bones mounted and that's a pretty good time in the air considering that I was practicing some freestyle moves but also cruising in a more slow calm way. This is another important point of this quad, you can do aggressive FPV freestyle, chasing a car or a motorcycle if you want but also you will be able to fly it slowly, get it through small gaps or maybe fly indoors safely because of the prop guards. My drone is the digital version so it comes with the Nebula Pro FPV camera, one of my favorites because of the color accuracy, the detail and the image clearance. This is exactly what I see on my goggles, I'm using the DJI FPV goggles version 1 and so far very good. Of course, as I said at the beginning of the video, I'm saying my opinion from a filmmaker's perspective. I'm using additional stabilization software for the GoPro footage, color grading, and the magic of editing to make the video look cool. But that wouldn't be possible if the drone itself doesn't perform as good as it does. So thanks to GPRC for letting me review this drone, go check them out on their website links in the description. Let me know what you think about this new quad, is it the best CineWoop of 2022 for you? Let me know in the comments. Please give a thumbs up to the video, subscribe to my channel for new reviews and new content, follow me on my Instagram, I post more cinematic reels and videos there using different drones and hoping to get viral one day with one of my videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.